The beautiful medieval town of Chesky Krumlov lies on the banks of the Vlatava River in the Bohemia region of the Southern Czech Republic. Home to the magnificent Krumlov Castle and a historic medieval city center, the town of Chesky Krumlov is a UNESCO protected site. The first written historical reference to this town dates back to the 13th century, though archaeological evidence indicates that this area has been settled since the Stone Age. The vicissitudes of history have left their mark on Chesky Krumlov. At the beginning of the 13th century until the beginning of the 17th century, the town was owned by the House of Rosenberg, a family of Czech lords. The Rosenbergs carried out significant urbanistic modifications to Chesky Krumlov, including the building of churches, houses, and markets, and under their rule, the town grew in prosperity. Darker times were to come during the Thirty Years' War, though normality was restored in the 17th century. Since then, Chesky Krumlov prospered under the influence of another aristocratic family, the Eggenbergs, who in turn would be succeeded by the House of Schwarzenberg. During the turbulent first half of the 20th century, when many historic European towns and cities suffered significant damages as a result of the World Wars, the area surrounding Chesky Krumlov escaped major combat, and the town therefore managed to preserve its historical center intact. Largely for this reason, today we can admire its truly spectacular beauty and important historical sites. Along the narrow cobblestone streets that traverse the old town, tourists encounter an enchanting atmosphere surrounded by more than 300 historically protected buildings. The buildings of the old town have retained their medieval and Renaissance appearance and are still adorned with their original decorations. A 16th century fountain stands in Svronosti Square, the town's main square. A simple column made of stone with water running out of four spigots, it is topped by a pyramid. Also along this square we find a splendid Renaissance palace. Chesky Krumlov's main square is surrounded by colorful buildings, including the town hall. The buildings that line the square were built mostly in the Baroque and neoclassical styles. The square itself is not large, but is lined by houses and other buildings of various sizes, including private residences both big and small, a small chapel, and a former paper mill. Both its geographical location in southern Bohemia and its history and culture tie Chesky Krumlov to the region of Central Europe. The core of the old town lies within a horseshoe bend in the river, with the old Latran neighborhood and castle on the other side of the Vlatava. In the Middle Ages, the river's most important function was for navigation. As the region was settled, its need for timber to build towns and castles rapidly grew. This need was satisfied by floating logs from upriver forests down the Vlatava River. One of the best ways to see Chesky Krumlov is from the river. Locals can be found swimming in it, while many others float by in small pleasure crafts. Two main buildings dominate Chesky Krumlov's skyline, the castle and the church tower of St. Vitus. When it was built in the Middle Ages, the church embodied Christendom's might and functioned as a counterpart and complement to secular powers. The church's western facade incorporates a tower with quadrangular Romanesque window openings on the landing level, which then changed to eight-sided openings higher up. The neo-Gothic uppermost part of the spire dates from the end of the 19th century. Originally built as a small church, it lacked the capacity to serve the needs of the growing population of the seat of the Rosenbergs. A larger church was therefore built following the wishes of Peter von Rosenberg. The Church of St. Vitus has three parallel arcades that merge onto a five-sided elongated presbytery. Tall rectangular chapels line both sides of the church, 
with the chapels of the Resurrection and of St. John of Nepomuk, located on the church's northern side, together with the antechamber. A jewel of Renaissance and Baroque architecture in the region of Bohemia, the complex of the Krumlov Castle stands proudly on a rock above the Vlatava River and the old town of Chesky Krumlov. One of the largest castle complexes in Central Europe, it is comprised of 40 buildings and palaces distributed around five courts and the castle gardens. The Krumlov Castle's name comes from the ancient German Kruma Awa meaning Crooked Meadow, a name that reflects the surrounding landscape. Built between the 14th and 19th centuries, the original layout of the castle has been well preserved, as have the original materials, interior furnishings, and architectural details. The Cloak Bridge derives its name from the fortifications that once protected the western side of the castle. The three-storied covered arched bridge stands on massive stone pillars. This technically daring and impressive work connects the 4th and 5th courtyards of Chesky Krumlov Castle. The first mention of the cloak bridge can be found in texts dating from the 15th century, when the bridge was probably built of wood. Half of the original wooden part of the covered corridor leading to the garden was built in 1706. This entrance, which still exists, was located at the gallery on the second floor of the palace. Ongoing restoration of Chesky Krumlov Castle has focused on the maintenance and enhancement of the original castle complex. The character and atmosphere of the castle have been exceptionally well preserved, a cultural and historical heritage that current and future restoration work must seek to conserve. Today, restorers are acutely aware that the most important aspect of their work is to respect the building's authenticity and that any changes made to update the building must not detract from the building's original architectonic ensemble. The tower, surrounded by the residential palace of the little castle, is situated on a narrow rocky promontory towering above the Latran neighborhood and the Vlatava River. The tower represents a combination of the Gothic and Renaissance styles, as is evident from its external appearance. The tower and the little castle are the oldest part of the castle complex, dating from the first half of the 13th century. 162 steps lead to the top of the tower. Its maximum diameter is 12 meters. The tower's belfry is a high-ceilinged room on the fourth floor, which houses four bells supported by a unique construction. The tower is the symbol of the town of Chesky Krumlov, representing its history and splendor. Many remarkable details make the tower and the little castle a pleasure to visit. A wooden model of the tower can be found inside the building. The main cellar area is now used as a lapidarium, where the original statues from the cloak bridge and the castle garden are stored. The palace buildings situated around the fourth courtyard were constructed between the middle of the 14th century to the 18th century. Despite this long period of development, the palaces generally retain a uniform appearance in the high Renaissance style. The mighty bastions towering over the entrance to the second courtyard were part of the castle's fortifications built in 1620. The castle was fortified at the outbreak of the Thirty Years' War upon orders of the imperial garrison adjutant, Ferdinand Carati de Carrara. The paintings decorating the façade of the third courtyard are the work of the painter Gabriel de Blonde and date to the second half of the 16th century. 
They represent allegorical and mythological scenes and figures from Greek and Roman history. The extensive cellar area under the fourth courtyard of Chesky Krumlov Castle occupies the entire space under the courtyard, as well as the frame of the upper castle wings. Presently, this unique space, under the patronage of the Czech Ceramics Design Agency, is used for exhibitions of contemporary Czech and foreign artists. Part of the exhibition of the Czech Ceramics Design Agency is housed in the churn rooms located on the castle's third courtyard. The Baroque Castle Gardens, created in the 17th century, form an integral, in fact the largest, part of the entire castle complex. They are situated on the slope adjacent to the southwestern side of the complex of buildings surrounding the castle's fifth courtyard. The park covers a surface area of almost 11,000 hectares. The orientation of the direct axis is to the northeast and southwest. The Cascade Fountain can be found on the slope dividing the upper garden and the lower parterre. The Cascade Fountain is adorned with statues of the water deity, as well as a bulustrade and vases. Allegories of the four seasons crown the front of the upper garden. Since their creation at the end of the 17th century, the Chesky Krumlov Castle Gardens have faithfully reflected changing tastes in landscape architecture and gardening. In its original apparition, the garden was created in the early Baroque style, only to be reconfigured in the style of the Viennese Rococo. Over the last 30 years, the garden has been the subject of ongoing historic renovation and restoration. During the reign of Wilhelm von Rosenberg, a unique system of covered bridges and arcades was built, connecting, for example, the castle with the Minorite Monastery and the Convent of the Poor Clares. This network of passageways leading from the Krumlov castle roofs to those of contiguous houses has been mostly preserved. The heritage of the town of Chesky Krumlov includes 300 protected buildings within its historical center, together with the second largest castle complex in the Czech Republic and the oldest Baroque theater in the world. Chesky Krumlov was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992.